I leave for passion tomorrow and I haven't even started packing yet. It's 9.30 at night. I need to meet up with my church group by 7.30 tomorrow morning. I haven't started packing yet. I have schoolwork getting to get done before <laughs> I can manage to leave tomorrow. Let's see how well this goes. My brother's cat has tore up my suitcase, but um, I don't have time to go and get a new one. I don't even think I know what to pack. Like, I've never been before. I don't know. The question is, do I need as big of a suitcase as I'm using? Or could I use a smaller one? Okay, so I need that. No, 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 no! Would it be a Kenzie video if something didn't fall over? Just saying. Also, if at any point you see my room during this video, um, don't judge it. I had the flu last week. So, yes, that's totally my excuse for my mess of a room. Not the fact that I've just been neglecting to clean it for the past several months. Totally. Just stay. No, stay! I really need a tripod. I should have asked for a tripod for Christmas instead of... Anything else? The pair of pants I am planning on wearing on the way up there tomorrow is in my dirty laundry. I did laundry today in hopes of cleaning those pants. I thought they were in that load. They were not. So, all right, cool. Got to do that really quick. I didn't need that big of a suitcase and so I'm using this smaller one um because I'm really I'm thinking I'm gonna pack one pair of jeans and then the joggers that I want to wear tomorrow I'll already be wearing them and then I'll take like a sweatshirt with me so I really don't need to pack that much um because we're only gonna be gone for like a couple days which isn't bad at all um this is, oof, 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 oof. this is why I don't pack the night before because now I'm stressing and my mom asked me this morning she was like are you packed yet and I was like no I haven't even started and she's like you should probably get to work on that and I was like I know because the anxiety is killing me but then if I decide to just not go then the depression's gonna kick in so I just I don't know Okay, I don't, I, I pack multiple days in advance. I have packed two weeks in advance for a trip before. And people have thought I was crazy for it. Well, now I'm rushing the night before and I'm freaking out. Um, I don't know what the plan is tomorrow. I, okay, I love my church. Well, both of them, I go to two different ones. Um, I love my churches, but... Neither one of them are good at planning in advance. Like, I just found out today what time we were meeting up, where we're meeting up at. Um, we don't have a pack list. It's just, yeah, you're adults. We can trust you to pack for yourselves. I don't want to be trusted to pack for myself anymore. I, oh. I somehow got it all to fit, which I mean, to be fair, it wasn't a lot, but still. <sighs> it's so early. And the cats are being a pain right now. Hey, not by the stairs, guys. It's so early. <laughs> Okay, made it to the hotel a couple hours ago, actually. Um, I'm trying to be quiet because um, one of my roommates is in the shower. Um, but night one, really good. I'm very tired, though. It was like 
after 10 o'clock and we kept like singing more songs and singing more songs and I'm like are we done now can, I, can we be done now um so yeah it's now 12 30 in the morning we just get back to the hotel room uh after she gets out of the shower and I'm gonna take a shower and then we're going to sleep um until you know we have to wake up early tomorrow morning so yeah it's like 7 a.m I'm not a morning person I don't like this but the time I have to get up right now. Um, everyone is downstairs getting breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person, so I'm not getting breakfast. I need to get a picture with this mirror because this mirror makes my eyes look really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know how much filming I'm gonna get done this weekend. I don't know, but uh, I'm tired. I'm about to get ready. Yeah, I will see you guys at some point. okay i'm home now we're not gonna talk about the zit over here um it's just sort of chilling uh but yeah i'm home now i got home around seven o'clock last night i didn't film anything yesterday um but yesterday for passion uh christian huff which is sadie robertson's husband um went out and spoke for a couple minutes um and then someone else went out and preached I was tired though, so I was falling asleep, so um, I'm sorry, but I was so tired. Um, I was literally going in my seat, um, and then like on the entire ride home, well not the entire ride home, but like a good amount of the ride home, I just slept. Um, my brother's cat is in my room right now. Did you miss me while I was gone? You didn't seem too excited when I got home yesterday. Um, but yeah, didn't get a whole lot of footage yesterday. Actually, no, I got no footage yesterday. Um, but no, it was a really good experience. It was really cool. Um, where are you going? I don't know. Um, it was really cool. It was awesome. Um, my favorite speakers were Sadie Robertson, um, I absolutely love her. I, I never call her Sadie Robertson Huff, but I should, because that's her name. Uh, but Sadie Robertson Huff, I got to see her the first night. It was really, really cool. Um, I wish I could have met some of the people there, but I didn't. Um, but she was my favorite speaker. She's just, like, my favorite in general. Um, <laughs> but Sadie Robertson Huff, um, there was a guy there named Earl. I don't remember what his last name was, but he was really cool. He was really funny, too. Um, but I enjoyed seeing him. As far as like music, hi. Um, it was really cool. On the on night two, I got to see Phil Wickham live, and I have loved um, a few of his songs 
since I went to, like, since the very first church camp I ever went to when I was, like, eight or nine. So that was really cool being able to see him live. Um, Brandon Lake was really cool. I wish I could have heard him sing Grace in the Gardens, and I don't know if he did end up singing it. And we just didn't see it because we ended up leaving early that night. But it was really cool seeing him. He was really funny, too. Um, but, yeah, those were my favorites. It was cool seeing Crowder live, too, except for, like, okay, so funny thing. A couple years ago, we were supposed to go to a similar conference. Um, not Passion, but it was a similar one. I just don't remember what it was called. We were supposed to go to one, and we didn't because of weather. But my friend, who was going to go with us, but she didn't get to go this time. But um, my friend, who was going to go with us, she was so excited. She was like, Kenzie, do you know who's going to be there? And I'm like, no, who? And she was like, Crowder. Crowder's going to be there. And I'm like, who the heck is Crowder? Um, and she was like, you don't know who Crowder is? And it, at no point showed me any of Crowder's music or looked Crowder up to tell me, can you not? If you want attention, come here. But don't tear out my bedding, please. Anyway, um, but at no point did she ever do this. Like, t you know, try to explain to me who Crowder was. She was just all excited Crowder was going to be there. And then we didn't get to go due to weather, which is fine. Well, then I got to see Crowder live on night one. And I texted her. I was like, I got to see Crowder live. And she was like, yeah, I know. It's so cool. That's so awesome. And I'm like, is her cap lock, like, broken or something? Because it's just like all caps like everything I texted her she responded in all caps um but no it was really really cool um they did really good too and then like after they sang a couple songs I was like oh now I know who they are um but no it was it was really great it was a lot of fun um I didn't get a whole lot of footage but I got some footage and hopefully this will mark the beginning of me actually getting back on a weekly posting um <laughs> But yeah, it was awesome. If you want to see any like photos, uh, go to my Instagram, which speaking of which, Instagram and TikTok, always in the description below. Um, and always make sure you're like looking at the description because like every year I change my username uh, by the number. I always like put whatever age I am in it, which I think I'm thinking after this year I'm going to quit because it's just it's getting to be a pain. Like, each year, I'm like, all right, Kenzie underscore give 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm not putting 21 in that. Oh, are you going to help me unpack? <laughs> Don't mind the water balls and stuff over there. I still haven't cleaned my room since from when I had the flu. <laughs> are you going to help me unpack? I still haven't unpacked. I fell asleep last night. Like, I literally got home, ate dinner, told my parents about the trip, um took a shower and then curled up in my bed and I was scrolling on TikTok and like seeing other people's posts from passion. The cat is pushing the phone. Um, and like saw other people's posts from passion and fell asleep while scrolling on TikTok. And then woke up at like 7am, realized my light was still on, turned my light off and then went back to sleep until like 2pm. <laughs> so yeah, it was a lot of fun. What are you doing? Oh, you're licking your tail. I was like, what is he doing? He just kept randomly going like that. Like, what are you rocking out to, buddy? But yeah, it was so much fun. In case you can't tell by the fact that I've said that like a million times. Um, I don't know. I hope I get to go again next year. <laughs> For anyone who didn't get to go, who wanted to go, I hope you guys get to go next year. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. What's my outro again? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. Jesus loves, Jesus loves you and so do I. Is that my outro? We're gonna say that's my outro for right now until I can remember it. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, bye! <laughs>